Hello, everyone. I'd like to thank you for joining this call. I understand that you'd like to know how discovery is done in Spectrum using speed routers. I'd be uh, happy to demonstrate that for you. Yes, that'd be great. We already have a number of uh, devices discovered and modeled in Spectrum. Those discoveries were done by a services consultant using IP address lists. Um, and at the time, we did not have uh, our speed routers available for SMP discovery. But um, now that they're available, I'd like to understand how discovery is done using the speed routers. Great, great, great. Um, well, it's basically the same method. Um, you just select different options, um, and I'll, I'll show you those options. Um, so I have my live meeting uh, set up. Uh, let me know when you're able to see my screen. Uh, uh, yep, yep, I'm in here. I can see your screen now. Okay, great. Um, so first of all, to get to discovery, we click on uh, tools then uh, utilities, then the discovery console, and that brings up our uh, discovery window. Mm -hmm. oh, a couple seconds for that to pop up. Um, and so what we're looking at now is the main window for our discovery console. The navigation pane is basically divided into two default folders. Um, you see on the left there, global configurations and the my configurations. Mm -hmm. I'm configuration under the my configurations uh, and I'm going to call it uh, home two so I do that by uh, selecting the create new configuration icon mm -hmm. which I just selected and yeah that icon right there so now I'm going to create something. I'm going to call it Home Home 2. I'm basically demonstrating this on my little home net here. Okay. And uh, next I'm going to add the seed router. Uh, and let's see. Let me get the IP address for that guy. 192.168.250. Dot. 201. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to add that. And now under modeling options, I'm going to select uh, discover and automatically model in spectrum. Um, so with this option selected, as soon as discovery finishes, find a device that will model it by default to the universe topology or wherever, you know, we designate this go in our configuration. Um, and these are just, those are just some of what the modeling options look like. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just watching you and taking notes, so uh, go ahead and continue on. Okay, great. So I've I clicked Discover now. Discovery has uh, started. I clicked on that Discover in the lower right-hand corner. I don't know if you saw it. I did it kind of quick. Sorry about that. Um, but now the Discovery pane shows the status of the configuration while it's taking place. Um, and another thing about Discovery configuration is that uh, a configuration uh, determines the focus and scope of the discovery or modeling session. So well, we, hey, Calvin, I have a question. Can you use uh, configurations to schedule your discoveries? Uh, yeah, yeah, great question. Yeah, you can schedule configurations to, to take place at specified intervals. Uh, you could also uh, create configurations for, say, strategic areas of your of your network or even different network types. That's kind of the beauty of the uh, configuration. You can, you can um, pretty much... Uh, make them as, as specific to um, a certain portion or part or piece of your network as, as, as you like. So now, if you notice, as, as things are being discovered, uh, as Discovery finds devices, it's kind of adding them in there. If you look in that kind of uh, top window on the, on the right-hand side, it's kind of adding things in there. Uh, also, down at the bottom, it shows um, Discovery status. It shows that Discovery is reading from you know, your OSPF uh, neighbor table, CDP, uh, IP routing table. So when you do see router discovery, you look through all these things. So it's basically reading through your routing information uh, that's configured in your router, your seed router, and it's looking for it's, it's looking for devices going across your going across your network and your routing protocol. Okay, I noticed in the discovery status that IP address ranges are being interrogated. Where is it um, getting those networks from? 
Oh, uh, discovery and getting that information from the seed router configuration. Uh, those networks are, are basically dynamic routes configured in the seed router. Um, and so um, if you have dynamic routes, you know, built using whatever routing protocol, um, you know, OSPF, uh, RIP stuff, I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll go in and uh, use those routing protocols to discover those parts of the network. So all those networks that you see in there that, 168.15192.168.45. Uh, another one just popped up. 192.168.100. Those are all um, uh, routes going out of various interfaces out of these routers um, through through RIP. I think I have RIP configured on this particular router. Okay, so now we've gotten to the uh, modeling step discovery. So now discovery is taking the devices it's discovered and it's adding them to the modeling database. Uh, it's building the device type, model class, and and basically, you know, all the things associated with the models. And at the same time, it's also placing the models um, where they belong in its topology. And it's the last step. If you recall, in our configuration, uh, we told it to go to the universe. So if it goes to the universe, it'll figure out, you know, what's connected to what, and it'll actually even put in the, the uh, connections that go from device to device when it's building out Okay, so it looks like yeah, so uh, yes, this is basically like the last step in the discovery process. Uh, um, it looks like it's pretty much done. Uh, the history tab shows the detailed results of the discovery, and uh, that's basically it. You know, what are your questions at this point? Um, you know, I don't really have any. Uh, I, I think I want to get in there and kind of play with this, and then I'll, uh, you know, I might have something later, but. Um, other than that, I'm, I'm pretty good. I guess uh, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, great.